The battening is fairly conventional, um, working at um, set distances apart up the roof. Um, the only place we have to alter this is as we go around the corners or as the actual shape of the roof changes. As we work round over the top of this cordwood wall and the roof kind of kicks down into a, to a sweeping tail, we're having to alter the battens quite considerably. One to flex our way over the top of some of the curves, but also um, as we drop down, the battens lose their sort of symmetrical rows and therefore we have to put in a lot of extra battens, um, cut them in, shape them, and as we're shingling, we'll have to work them a bit more, chiselling bits out as we go. But the end result will be a sort of sweeping tail on the outside of the building here, which will not only protect the cordwood wall, but will give the, the building and the, the whole roof a real sort of sense of stability and depth.